Mr. Attorney General, it's more with uh, sorrow than, uh, uh, than regret, uh, than anger, that I would say that you've leave me no alternative but to join those that call upon you to resign your office. Asking Eric Holder to uh, step down on his own volition is the equivalent of asking Obama to stop fundraising. It's just not going to happen. These people will have to be dragged out. They are never wrong. You have to understand how psychosis works. I believe the Attorney General of the United States should step down for a number of reasons because the scandals surrounding him, the guns to Mexico, the killing of a border agent, the cover-up of the killings at the border, the cover-up of national security leaks to the New York Times and old Stalinist rag, these are very serious uh, issues. And the fact of the matter is, I believe that the impact of both of these scandals will be greater, if not already, than Watergate ever was. The Justice Department decided to smuggle guns to Mexican drug gangs. Why? Because they wanted murders. Why? They wanted crimes. Why? Because then the microcephalics from Harvard, Yale, and the other denizens of lower learning and lower living who work for this Marxist administration could say, look at that, it's guns that are causing crime in America, and we need to ban guns in America. Eric Holder is stonewalling on the smuggling of guns to Mexico, to drug, uh, drug gangs, number one. Eric Holder is lying and covering up leak of national security information to Stalinists in the New York Times, which has a long experience of backing dictatorships, going all the way back to the 1930s. The Times has always been on the side of dictatorships while posing as liberalism. It's a big case, a big story. But where are the Rock? Uh, excuse me, where's Romney on this? McCain is even more vocal. You want to hear that? Even McCain seems to be more vocal than Romney, if you can believe this. McCain seems to be more alive than Romney, if you can believe this. I don't understand how, how, how anyone around Romney doesn't understand the man is blowing his opportunity to defeat the most corrupt, the most incompetent, the most anti-American administration in history. It's a sure thing. But with Romney plodding along like Mr. Mr. A Country Club herky-jerky, I don't know that he's going to win, frankly. I'm worried about him. I am still worried about him. Are you going to vote for Obama? No matter what you've seen or heard, why? I, I drive around here in the Bay Area. I see idiots with Obama-Biden bumper stickers. And I scratch my head and I say, are they that stupid? Are they that idiotic? And I feel like screaming out, hey, moron, have you heard of uh, Fast and Furious? Have you heard of Solyndra? Have you heard of the SEAL team being killed? But it's pointless.